Hi everyone, welcome to database tutorial. So in today's video, we will see that how to create and interpret a ribbon chart in Power BI. So this is a ribbon chart which we have created in Power BI. So I will show you that uh, what it is interpreting and how we can create this ribbon chart. So I will just uh, clear this chart first. So uh, now I want to visualize uh, my sales for uh, the time period for all the countries. So for that, uh, what I can do first, I will simply, uh, I can simply click on the ribbon chart here in my visual tab. And uh, from here, I will resize this ribbon chart. So in this ribbon chart, I will put the fields which I want. So under X axis, I want the time period because I want to see the sales for uh, continuous time. So I will put my date field in X axis. And uh, from here, I don't want to see day. I don't want to see month. I want to see year and quarter. So th uh, this is fine. Now in Y axis, I want to see the sales. So I will put sales in Y axis, sum of sales. So currently, uh, uh, I will go to next level so we can see here quarters. So currently we can uh, see simple bar charts here uh, which are depicting uh, my quarter wise sales quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3 and quarter 4. So uh, this uh, these are the simple bar charts which I have got till now. Now to convert it into a ribbon in legends I will put my categorical value so i want to see it uh, with a bifurcation of countries so i will put my country column to legends here so now my ribbon chart will be created so how this ribbon chart is created that it is just uh, connecting the dots between two bar charts and it is showing the variance that how my sales has been varied for each country between each quarters so as you can see here whenever you will hover between two bar charts you, know, you will see that this country uh, legend is for France. So this is a, a France country legend. And from here we can see that in, in quarter 1 the sales were 46 and in quarter 2 it decreased. So it uh, will show the percentage change also that it decreased by 13%. And uh, in the quarter 1 its rank was first but its van went down to 5th in quarter 2 which was a rank change. Uh, of four so this rank is based on all the comparison uh, comparison of all the countries that uh, we have total five countries so in this five countries what is the rank of france so now a uh, rank of france in quarter two has been the least it has uh, gone down to fifth level similarly we have united states so in united states the sales has increased, it has increased by 9%, but the rank is same in quarter 1 also second, quarter 2 also second. Then we have Mexico. In Mexico, the sales has been changed by 3% and rank has been same 3 for both the quarters. Then we have Canada and in Canada, we have a 46% sales change which has increased. So 46% sales has increased and uh, uh, in quarter 1 rank was 4th but in quarter 2 rank uh, was went up to 1st. So Canada is in 1st rank in quarter 2. So then we have Germany. In Germany also the rank uh, sales has uh, increased by 60% and quarter 1 rank, rank was 5th and quarter 2 rank is 4th. So a rank change is by 1. So here we can see uh, that uh, the maximum sales in quarter 2 was done by Canada followed by United States followed by Mexico. So uh, this, this ribbon chart uh, is depicting same with the visual also. So we can see uh, that a visual of uh, France ribbon, France ribbon has gone to down in quarter 2 then it got little increase in quarter 3 and got much in, uh, good increase in quarter 4. So uh, these ribbons are visually also uh, depicting that only that uh, how the sales have been decreased or increased. We can see that quarter 4 is the quarter wherein uh, sales of all the countries has been increased and the highest 
uh, was Germany in this. Germany got the highest increase of sales in quarter four. So this is a ribbon chart and uh, we can format our ribbon chart. So suppose here I want to put my legends in top left stack. So I will do that and uh, in X axis I don't want to see the title so I will uncheck the title and uh, for the sheet title I don't want to see the sheet title so I will uncheck that also and here I will go to effects and uh, visual border I want so I want a visual border of uh, gray color and I want it rounded by seven points I will go to shadow I want the shadow also and should be outside bottom right so it is fine with me and uh, the formats related to ribbon chart so for that uh, we have ribbons icon here and from here I can choose to change the ribbon colors for any of the countries and also I can reverse tag the order the order will be reversed and the connector color so I can either choose to ok or off if I will click on off then it will uh, be showing in just light gray color if I click on open then it will be showing in same colors and I can uh, increase or decrease the transparency. So suppose I am decreasing the transparency, increasing the transparency a little bit and the border also I can put in these ribbons and the spacing also I can increase or decrease in these ribbons I will increase the space then space of these ribbons will increase and minimum category width I can choose what will be the category width for uh, these ribbons data labels if I want to put the data labels so that data labels will also be put so like this I can format my ribbon chart and I can interpret this ribbon chart so visually also this ribbon chart is appealing as well as uh, when we uh, for interpreting also this visual uh, this ribbon chart is very good for interpreting our uh, change from previous time period to latest time period what is the change how the change has been done uh, for that this ribbon chart is a great chart to create in power bi and uh, so let's recap that what all fields we can put so in in the axis x and y axis i will just put the fields like i am putting in a bar chart or a column chart so in a column chart how i'm putting in x axis i have to put a categorical field or a time field a time period field that is date field so in x axis i can put that in y axis i will put a measure field uh, the measure which i want to uh, compare between uh, different, different categories or dates and in the legend i will put another category with for which i want to see the change and i want to compare different categories so that is the ribbon chart if you have any queries in this you can simply ask in the comment box for more such videos don't forget to subscribe to database tutorial and till then take care and happy learning